all the joy of holiday shopping, unless you have a big spender for a spouse. CBS2 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live with new findings about holiday stress. Stacy. Well, Pat, here at South Coast Plaza, the tree is lit. It just looks gorgeous out there tonight. Mall, well, it's starting to fill up, and couples that we spoke with who are out there buying their holiday presents tonight, few told us that they ever see eye to eye when it comes to holiday spending, and it turns out this could be a big problem. There's no limit right now. It's on. Merry Christmas. Holiday shopping has moms and dads already hitting the malls in force. And once you see the, the happiness of the kids' faces, it's like, it's all worth it. But is it? A new survey by Affirm, a company that offers financing for purchases, found that marriages can be seriously rocked by the spouse who is the bigger holiday spender. I will never admit it, but <laughs> I would say, uh, yeah, I do. I do spend more. Uh, kind of. <laughs> he doesn't mind. No. The survey polled 1,000 people and found 6 out of 10 Americans said their holiday spending spurs marital and familial strife. I think that's true. It does cause some strife, but I just don't tell my husband what I spend. I have my own credit card and I pay it off and he doesn't even know. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> well, you know, because there's always one person that wants to spend a little bit more than the other. And, you know, sometimes right nowadays you got a budget. The survey found one third are worried about how they will be able to cover holiday spending. But not Shirley Cleaver. I start shopping around uh, July. I start saving around March so that uh, I have enough money to give away. Now that's the way to do it. But uh, the survey did find that couples who came up with the budget together and actually stuck to it, no surprise, they had happier holidays and a happier marriage.